Fiona, the young adult librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute moss-covered canvas bunny. It's a really cute craft for spring and it's really easy to make. So let's get started. So for today's craft, you're going to need your canvas, your bunny stencil, your green foam, your moss, your pom-pom, piece of string, your glue, and then you're also going to need a scissors and a marker or a pen. So first we want to take our bunny outline and we're going to cut it out so we can use it to trace it onto the foam. So you simply just want to cut around the outside. Once you have your bunny outline cut, you just want to take your marker and you're going to place the outline on the foam. And you could tape it down in a spot or two if you want to keep it steady. And you're simply going to trace the outside of the bunny with your marker, like so. So once you have your bunny traced on the foam, we're simply going to cut that out. So now you want to take your foam bunny, you just want to put it on a piece of paper or something like that while we work on putting the moss on. You're going to need your glue and your moss. So you're just going to take your glue and you can put some on the actual foam. And you can sort of spread it around if you'd like. So I'm just going to show you how to do this small patch. And you want to pull it apart into smaller pieces and then you're simply going to press it down onto where you have the glue like so and you can start wherever you want if you wanted to start in the middle you can start in the middle um, you can do the edges first however you want to do it so then you're just going to add some more glue to the foam And then you're going to keep doing what you're doing, where you just pull off pieces and stick it down to the glue. And you can go over the edges a little bit, we're going to fix that um, once we have our moss on. So you just want to keep going until you have moss over the entire foam of the bunny. So we'll just keep going. You just want to make sure you're pressing it down. Okay, so you can see I have my bunny and the kids are very messy. So what you want to do first, pick it up and give it a shake to get anything extra off. Like so. And you can also look to see if you think you missed a part um, that you want to put a little more of the moss on, anything that fell off, that's up to you. And then what we want to do is take our scissors and you just want to trim anything going over the outline so that we don't lose the shape of our bunny. So we keep the shape of the bunny. So now we want to take our canvas, our moth bunny, and our glue. What we're going to do, flip the bunny over gently, and we're going to put glue on the back of our moth bunny. So what we're going to do is just put some glue over the back of our moth bunny, and make sure you're getting the legs, the ears. And then again, we're going to take it, you just want to clean off your canvas of any extra moss. You're going to very gently flip it over and position it on your canvas and press it down. Okay. Now you want to take your cotton ball and your glue again. You're going to put some glue on your cotton ball, like so, and we're just going to 
press it in at the bottom. You just want to hold it there for a minute. So let it stick. He's got his little fuzzy tail. So the string is optional if you'd like. If you want to put a bow on your bunny, you can. That's up to you, um, wherever you want to put it. If you do want to put it on, you just want to tie your bow. So once you have your bow, you can put it anywhere you want. Um, I like to put it up here in the little ear. So you just want to take a little bit of glue, put it on the back of your bow, and then you can position it wherever you like. And again, just hold it down for a few seconds. So here's our finished moss bunny. It's really easy to make and it's definitely unique and really festive spring decoration. Um, it's not something I would normally think of to do, but I really actually enjoyed working with the moss. And of course, you're more than welcome to paint the canvas or to put stickers on it or whatever you would like as well. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more crafts. Thank you.